In today's lesson, we are learning to calculate elapsed time. Elapsed time is the amount of time that passes from the start of an event till the end. In simple terms, elapsed time is the time that goes by from one time, example 3.15 p.m., to another time, 6.25 p.m. For example, let's say it's 3.35 in the afternoon and you go into your best friend's house at 6.20 p.m. to have dinner. Before you leave the house, you have to clean your room, maybe take a shower, get dressed and still have time to get to your friend's house. Do you just leave and hope together on time or do you use your math skill to figure out how much you have time to finish all you have to do and arrive at your friend's house at 6.20 p.m.? Elapsed time is the amount of time it passes from the start of an event till its end. In this example is how much time goes from 3.35pm till 6.20pm and of course an important tool that helps us here is a clock. Before we go on to calculate the time, let's go through a few things about the clock. The hour hand is the shorter hand and the minute hand is the longer hand. We read time by looking at the hour hand first and then counting the minute hand. Each number on the clock equals to 5 minutes. Now let's have a look at this clock and can you tell what time it is? Yes, it's 3 o'clock. And now can you tell what time it will be in 3 hours? So what we need to do is to move the hour hand 3 hours ahead. So in 1 hour it will be 4 o'clock, then 2 hours it will be 5 and 3 hours it will be 6 o'clock. So 3 hours past 3 o'clock is 6 o'clock. Let's have a look at another example. Let's say it's 6.20 in the morning and your mum says that you need to get ready in 1 hour and 10 minutes for school. What time do you think it will be in 1 hour and 10 minutes? In this example, we start with the hour hand first and move it ahead 1 hour. So it's going to be 7.20. Then we'll go to the minutes hand and move that one ahead 10 minutes, which will make it to 30 minutes. So the time will be 7.30. There are many different strategies to calculate the duration of the time of elapsed time, such as mountains, hills and rocks, or some people use T-chart, or Z-strategy or number line. But today I'm going to teach you how to use mountains, hills and rocks to calculate the duration of the time, where mountains equal to 1 hour, hills equal to 10 minutes, and rocks equal to 1 minute. Let's say Sarah arrived at school at 7.45. Her mother picked her up at 12.20 for a dentist appointment. How long was Sarah at school on that day? So in this example, our start time will be 7.45 and our end time will be 12.20. And we need to calculate the duration of the time, the amount of time that has passed between our start time and our end time. So I'm going to start with hours first with the mountains. One hour pass, 8.45. The second hour pass, 9.45. The third hour pass, 10.45. And the fourth hour pass, 11.45. Now I'm very close to 12.20, so I'm going to start with 10 minutes. So 10 minutes past 11.45 is 11.55, another 10 minutes is 12.05, and another 10 minutes past is 12.15. Then I'm very, very close to 12.20. I'm going to start by counting one minute. Now I'm going to move ahead by one minute. One minute past 12.15 is 12.16. One more minute past is 12.17. One more minute past 12.18. One more minute past 12.19 and one last minute past 12.20. Now I've reached my end time. Now I'm going to count all the 1 hours and 10 minutes and 1 minute that I have counted and I'm going to add them up all together to find the duration. So 4 hours plus 3 10 minutes which makes 30 minutes and 5 1 minute which makes 5 minutes. Now we know our answer. How long has Sarah been at school? She's been at school for 4 hours and 35 minutes. Now, it's 3.35pm and you're meeting your best friend at 6.20pm for dinner. How long do you think you have time to get ready? Now, we need to draw our line. We'll put our start time at the start, which is 3.35. Then we'll put our end time at the end, which is 6.20. 
Today we're gonna use our mountains, hills and rocks strategy where mountains equal to one hour, hills equal to 10 minutes and rocks equal to one minute. So I'll start with one hour first. One hour past 3.35 is 4.35. One more hour past is 5.35. Now I'm getting very close so I'm gonna start using my 10 minutes. So moving ahead by 10 minutes. 10 minutes past 5.35 is 5.45. Another 10 minutes pass is 5.55 and another 10 minutes pass is 6.05. One more 10 minutes pass is 6.15. Now that I'm very close to my target or end time which is 6.20, I'm going to count by one minute. One minute past 6.15 is 6.16. One more minute past is 6.17. One more minute past is 6.18. One more minute past is 6.19 and one more minute past is 6.20. Now I'm going to count all the hours, 10 minutes and 1 minute that I've moved forward. 2, 1 hours, 4, 10 minutes which makes 40 minutes and 5, 1 minute which makes 5 minutes and all together that will count as 2 hours and 45 minutes. Now let's say if you have been given a start time of 2.05 and then you are given how much time has passed, 2 hours and 34 minutes, your job will be to find out what time your ending time will be. So first I'm going to break up my time duration which is 2 hours and 34 minutes into hours which it will make into 2 hours. We need 3 of the 10 minutes and we need 4 of the 1 minutes. Then I'm going to show that time duration on my line using the mountains, hills and rocks. So I need 2 of the 1 hours, then I'll move by 3 of the 10 minutes and then I'll move 4 of the 1 minutes and then I'll be able to add them. Now I'm going to calculate each time. So 1 hour past 2.05 is 3.05, 1 more hour past is 4.05, 10 minutes past is 4.15, Another 10 minutes pass is 4.25 and another 10 minutes pass is 4.35. Then 1 minute pass 4.35 is 4.36. 1 more minute pass is 4.37. 1 more minute pass is 4.38 and 1 last minute pass is 4.39. So after doing our calculation using mountains, hills and rocks, we found out that our end time is 4.39.